Hi there, Allison here with another Cab Franc du Jour. Today's wine is taking us to Anjou and we're looking at the Domaine Moss 2018 Cab Franc. The estate was established in 1999 by Agnès and René Moss and today it's being run by their two sons, Sylvestre and Joseph. The winery is located in the commune of saint lambert de lété on the left bank of the Léon River, about 25 kilometers directly south of the city of Angers and the Loire River. Now, technically, this is Chenin Blanc country here, and most of the family's vineyards are planted with Chenin Blanc across three communes in Anjou, but they do have four hectares of Cabernet Franc vines that are planted specifically in saint lambert du Latte. The soils here are what we refer to as Anjou Noir, and this is a blanket term for the schist soils of the Massif Amoricain, which is different from the Anjou Blanc, which are the limestone soils of the Paris Basin. Now, uh, it's similarly to the limestone soils of the Paris Basin, the schist soils of Anjou are quite varied in terms of their origin. So where we're situated here along the Léon River, there is a fault, and this has created two distinct areas of schist soils on either side of the Léon River. So where saint lambert du Laté is located, we are on the left bank of the Léon River, and this is where we find the Briovarian schist. And this was formed during the Precambrian period and makes it some of the oldest soils in all of France. On the right bank of the Léon River, uh, where we find the great sweet wine crews of Bonnezot and Cal de Chaume, is where we find the Devonian or the saint georges schist, as well as the Carboniferous Sandstone. And these two soils were formed several hundreds of millions of years after the schist soils of the left bank of the Léon River. Now, I've mentioned this before, but when it comes to Cab Franc on schist, uh, site selection is really critical. So where the family's vines are located, these are either at the foot of the slope or on the flatter vineyards where we find a deeper topsoil. And in this case, it's predominantly clay with a mix of sand and quartz. And the combination of the deep topsoil, which sort of uh, lessens the impact of the schist, as well as the clay, which adds uh, moisture retention, uh, these two factors combine to kind of create a really happy place for Cabernet Franc. Now, the vines are uh, 30 years of age and uh, they're all farmed organically. And when it comes to the uh, winemaking, the brothers really let the vintage dictate their practices in the cellar. So the 2018 vintage was a warmer vintage. They had nice ripeness of the fruit. Uh, so they opted for longer skin contact of about three weeks with um, punch overs, or excuse me, pump, uh, pump overs uh, every few days or so. Uh, and then it saw 10 months of elevage in larger oak foods on the fine leaves. Now, in terms of the nose, it does have this lovely sort of brambly profile and a mix of sort of red and dark fruits and getting a bit of morello cherry. There's some black raspberry here, a little bit of pomegranate as well. And the pyrazines are nicely in balance. It kind of leans a little savory. Uh, there's some nice dusty herbs here, even a touch of like a cured black olive as well. Now, in terms of the acid, got nice bright acidity here. The fruits come through really beautifully on the palate and are very similar to the nose. There's this extra layer of kind of dark chocolate as well as a touch of like um, star anise spice as well. Um, but the fruits are really pure and they kind of lean more savory, but they're not at all like sort of plush or, or fleshy or, or overripe at all. It's nice and balanced with, with how the acid feels. Now the tannins are quite distinctive. They're firm, they kind of have a velvety texture to them as well. And they're, they're tightly woven too. Um, and as a little nod to uh, my friend Ian in Korea, uh, the, the tannin structure of this wine kind of reminds me of like an ornate wrought iron fence that's enclosing this sort of uh, very uh, lush European garden and there's like Morello cherry trees planted. There's maybe some raspberry bushes as well. And there's a bunch of herbs planted in the garden, maybe some purple flowers too. And, and it's like um, the tannins are the structure that's kind of enclosing all the fruit and the herbs and everything. And you can kind of see what's behind the fence, but it's also sort of hidden as well. There's a, it creates this sort of mysterious edge to it. But um, this is really what I was sort of what immediately came to mind when I was tasting this wine today. Um, now, there is an energy to the wine as well, but it's not this um, high-toned, pitchy energy. It's more like this um, base note reverberation that kind of just sits there at the base of the wine, like deep within the wine, and it's there literally from start to finish. It has this kind of 
sauvage quality to it, but it's also kind of sexy as well. Um, and I'm, I'm super digging this wine today. And it's a great introduction to the, the Moss family and what they're doing with Cab Franc. And I hope I get a chance to taste some of their other wines again soon. If you have a favorite Cab Franc from Anjou, let me know what it is in the comments below. And of course, as always, I will be back again soon with another wine. Cheers.